forgive those who trespass against us. So, uh, you sheep farming, milking people have got to, you know, we've got to be kind to you folks. Also, I acknowledge those who have gone on before, passed on. And then I said, if you were to ask me what is the most important thing, etangata it is people, etangata it is people. And I also uh, gave a whakatoki for my tipuna to Peti Tawai. And one of the things he said, we build the foundation of love and partnership, go for and do likewise. And he was speaking specifically to our Māori people, especially us Arangatana. And then I asked for God's covering over your whole um, conference here. And I think that's very important in today. And then I told you where I am, who I am. Under the Treaty of Waitangi, I'm known as the Mayor Rangiyoti. And I don't have elections, I just, you know, am. And if people aren't too sure. You see, I don't people aren't too sure that's one. I'm going to crack a joke there from Adam. Noreira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, and tēnā koutou in Kato. Then they are mata, and we have to make your water. 
Good morning to everyone and it is a humble privilege to be in your presence today. We are honoured to be in the presence of the Rangitane people who have opened their door of peace of Rangimari that we may have discussions whether good or bad and to learn about this thing called milking sheep. One of the parts of my discussion I mentioned with my cousin was a lot of us grew up actually borrowing your sheep to feed our people on the marae. <laughs> we used to have a freezing works here called Longburn. Most of us lived in the open paddock. What a Longburn freezing work was. But today it is a privilege to be in your presence and to know that many of you have come from different lands to discuss the scope of it. On behalf of my Fanonia here and Maui Milk, we extend our aloha to you all and we come with the humility of our heart from the western shores of Taupo, uh, where my Fanonia here is responsible and his team members who are also here to take care of that for you and share what they have and hopefully take everything you know. <laughs> So without um, going on too long, I just want to say, Tene rau te mihi ki a koutou, I greet you all, not once, not twice, not three times, nor even te nga koutou, te nga koutou, ki o la tatou katoa, e he kia. Ano te whai, te ataua, o te nei hui hui ngā, o ngā tai ngā me ngā tū, Great love that we sing to you this morning. Lorena, te nga koutou, te nga koutou, and have an awesome conference. Te nga koutou. Utea te wito o te hara keke. Ki hia te komako o ki o. Whakatai rangatia. Te roa Ki o tu, ti raha, ki tai. A, nui mai ki o. I aha, ti mai nui o te o. Maku i ki atu, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata. Morena, everyone. My name is Sam Robinson, I'm the Chairman of Egg Research, uh, and it's uh, my honour to have been asked to open this or co-open co -open this conference, the Sheep Milking Conference, on the back of what's been another year of growth and milestone for this really exciting industry. In my day job, I am a sheep farmer, and I've got my title proven. I, I, I love sheep, and I've always admired the obvious potential that sits within the sheep milking industry for New Zealand. So firstly, could I acknowledge our keynote speaker, Jules Frijak, the General Manager of Upra Rusan, which is the Sheep Dairy, Brood, Sheep Dairy Breeding Society. He's come a long way, so what a big shout out to him. He'll be addressing the conference tomorrow. Thank you for coming here. And also, can I acknowledge the Massey, new Massey University Vice-Chancellor, Professor Jan Thomas, who's going to speak in a moment and, and also open the conference. <coughs> Can I also acknowledge the honorary guests, Scotty Champion, who I've heard a lot about. Oh, sorry, Chapman, Chapman. The CEO of Spring Milk, of the Spring Milk, uh, Kirsty Sylvester, the co-owner of Wild Bush Cheese, and Maori Milk Director, Natalie Dang. Dang. We all know there are a number of challenges facing New Zealand's agriculture sector. Flow, the volatile price, prices for our commodities, the ability to attract skilled labour, and very much the current issue of the day, environment or the environmental footprint, that nexus between production and compliance. 
These have just been, been a few, and of course there's the ongoing challenges of weather, as we found out with the plane not being here today. Had a pretty pretty yuck summer, non-summer, for a minute or two anyway, Hawke's Bay had a good one. The New Zealand sheep, sheep milking industry, while not on the same scale of other industries, has got a really important role to play in showing the way of producing healthy, high-value food products with a low environment, foot, environmental footprint and expanding our export reach. This year's conference will address two key issues facing the sheep milk industry. Connecting consumers with the extraordinary sheep milk foods that you make and increasing production sustainably, I hope. Research is crucial to helping with these challenges and speaking on ag research's behalf, we are proud to be working closely with the sheep milk producers to support you to increase your production, increasing the understanding of what is in sheep milk and the health benefits that flow from it. And how we can develop and, how we can develop and maintain an environmentally sustainable industry. Ag research is working closely with Massey University in sheep milk research, particularly in training the next generation of scientists, and it's a great example of collaboration and action, and may long, long may that continue. And could I also just give a quick shout out to Food HQ, which is again another example of collaboration with many more, many, many more partners, which is located that way over the river, if I've got my orientation right, Rangatani people, uh, at the Grasslands Messy campus. And during this conference, we're going to hear about the latest research from scientists from both these organisations and, of course, others. So can I conclude by thanking all of those who work tirelessly day to day to make this industry function and grow? I hope you all enjoy your time here at the conference and at any other events you may attend during this Agri-Food Investment Week here in Palmerston North. Thank you very much. Amihiana kiti rangi, amihiana kiti whenua, amihiana kiti hunga wairua, rato ki a rato, amihiana ki a tato e huhui nei. Tēnā tato, tēnā tato, tēnā tato kato. I uh, uh, have just acknowledged everything around us, the sky, the land, uh, the people who have gone before us and everything that's made it so that we can gather here today. Uh, as you may have gathered, uh, my name is Jan Thomas and I'm the uh, new Vice-Chancellor of Massey University and very proud to be so. So I am new to New Zealand and you may have also picked up from my accent that I'm an Aussie. A slow learning Aussie because it's taken me decades to work out what side of the ditch is best. But here I am. Uh, and uh, I'm also, uh, you'll be pleased to know, a vet that likes sheep too, so all good. But um, although I am new to New Zealand, I've been watching the media fairly closely and I know with a lot of interest the media reports that suggest to me that the New Zealand sheep uh, dairy industry is developing really very rapidly. I understand that over the last year further 3,000 milking ewes have joined the uh, 30,000 milking flock. It's a 10% 10, 10 growth. I wish universities had that kind of growth, but nevertheless, great job. Um, and I also note in the media, amongst many other successes, that Spring Sheep Dairy's new ice cream range uh, was successful in its category at last year's New Zealand Food Awards. Uh, delicious. And um, also then going on to subsequently secure a $30 million primary growth partnership um, with NPI. I mean, these are the sorts of success stories that flagged me a, um, in a, a very, very successful global industry in the making. I'm so proud that Massey uh, is partnering with Ag Research in many things, but to also in the organisation of this conference. Of course, there are challenges. We all face them, we all know them. However, my experience is that when all stakeholders come together with a common goal, these challenges can be overcome. I note that there are a range of participants in this conference um, and that demonstrates to me an industry that is willing and able to work together to solve mutual uh, challenges. And it's particularly pleasing to see the whole industry value chain present. That seems to me to be a sign of a strong, albeit budding, industry here in um, New Zealand. The big challenges of the world and of New Zealand need interdisciplinary approaches and good minds to solve them. I'm pleased Massey's able to bring to the table respected researchers and scientists and students in the areas of genetics, processing, manufacturing and industry development. 
It's exciting to see the range of activities and presentations at this conference, and I hope the outcomes of it are very successful. Special welcome to all the VIPs and our, our, our keynote speakers who've been identified previously. You're very welcome. And um, in particular, I'd like to also um, acknowledge uh, Gilles Fro Froge, really bad at French, funnily enough, in a really paradoxical world, I think my mother is better than French. Um, uh, bonjour. Okay. Um, also acknowledge our local keynote speaker, Mark Soper, and uh, honorary guest, Scotty Chapman, who I believe is delivering the dinner um, keynote this evening. So in conclusion, no mai. Kia koreiro, tahi, tato. That's welcome so that we can all talk together. Kia mahi, tahi, tato. We're going to work together. Uh, hei oranga, mote, uh, koto, for the benefit of all here today. Thank you. Welcome to the Third New Zealand Sheep Month Conference. Thank you to people who have organised this, really looking forward to it. Um, I'm Kirsty Sylvester and my husband David Chapman and I, he's hiding in the middle there, um, we're the force behind Wild Bush Cheese, um, which we describe as a nano sheep dairy in Woodville. We don't quite hit the micro level. Um, we started back in 2012 with seven ewes and an idea. The idea was to build a small milking shed, um, a cheese factory ourselves, write our own RMP, and make cheese, all without borrowing any money. It seemed like such a good idea at the time. Anyway, Dave did the building work while I tackled the paperwork, and by the end of 2014, we'd milked 20 sheep, we'd made enough cheese that we couldn't eat it all ourselves, so we were giving it away to anyone who we, we knew. Um, we weren't signed off at that point, but I finally got the paperwork submitted in October 2015 um, and after 20 MPI working days um, we had the first tick and a date for our verification visit. Um, we had heard a few horror stories about auditors so as you can imagine it was pretty stressful leading up to that visit and I'm sure a lot of you have been in that position yourselves. Uh, we didn't know quite what to expect but we wanted everything to be perfect. Uh, we had people waiting to buy our cheese, but it all depended on that final hurdle. Um, on the day, our auditor was surprisingly friendly and actually quite helpful. Um, and the visit went really well. She, at our exit interview, she pronounced us authorised to sell cheese. Um, and as she drove out of the driveway, a car drove in the other side. And it was one of our neighbours, a local guy, who said, oh, I knew you were getting ticked off today, so I've come to buy some cheese. Uh -huh. So it was a good start. Um, that year we sold everything we made. We could have sold a bit more, and since then we've increased our milking plot to 50 ewes, which is still very small. We've made another 500 kilos of cheese, which is chicken feed in Pontera terms, but just right for Nano. Um, over the next couple of days, you're going to hear from a variety of people working in a range of sheep milking contexts and environments, some large, some small, but each, I think, was something interesting to share. Um, hopefully, you'll come away from the conference with some new friends, some confirmation about what you're doing, some food for thought, and some inspiration too. So once again, welcome. Enjoy the conference. I don't think there's anyone better qualified and certainly nowhere near as experienced to introduce the speakers for the next session. So um, uh, Janet King has been, this is probably the, the industry's most experienced market uh, and product person. She knows New Zealand's sheep milk producers and their, uh, their intimate secrets. Many people have passed through her kitchen and sat at her dinner table and talked sheep milk for the last 20 years. She has an intimate knowledge of how um, our people respond to sheep milk cheeses and to products generally. And actually, I've noticed some milk in uh, some, some milk for sale, Kingsmead milk for sale. So you're branching out into to, um, to, to milk. Anyway, I'd like to introduce Janet King. So Janet is the chair of this session, and she will introduce each of the speakers, and we'll get started. So welcome, everyone, and thank you. Janet. Thank you. 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 Thank you